Are you looking for love online? Well, it just got a little more complicated, all thanks to artificial intelligence. Yeah, after years of heartbreak over a person acting fake, it's bona fide fakes that are leading to a lot of broken hearts and broken wallets. Matt Gephardt joins us now to explain. Mike Dini, good evening. Yeah, pop quiz. Can you tell which of these photos is a real person and which one's a fake person? It's pretty hard to tell, right? And scammers are capitalizing on that. There is some good news here, however. AI, for all of its leaps and strides in recent years, has some pretty obvious tells. Okay, let's make, uh, let's make some people. KSL producer Sloan Schrag and I never created a fake person before today. Artificial. But if a scammer can do it, how hard can it be? Turns out, not hard at all. A Google search brought us to a website uh, Canva. where we typed in image of a single man. That's how close they get to me. And voila, worked for women too, of course. Some of the images are pretty obviously not real. No, it's the anime. But others... See anything weird about it? No. It is a major issue that is costing Americans looking for love millions of dollars every year. In fact, over $3.6 million were lost by Utahns alone in romance scams just last year. That according to the FBI. That's on top of the $7.7 million that was lost the year before. But for as good as AI images can be, there are some tells for which you should be on the lookout, says Gerald Casalis of Nord Security. Uh, it looks very real, but it looks like a drawing rather than the actual picture. Yeah, take a look at a few of those images Sloan and I created. In this one, do the shadows feel a bit off? Or this one, maybe just a bit too much Botox? Still, that could be the result of an Instagram filter. So what else you got, Gerald? If you look at the eyes, uh, you can see that one eye might be looking different direction ever so slightly. Yeah, zoom in on many of these photos. They look a scotch dead in the eyes, no? One eye's looking straight and one <laughs> eye's looking up. <laughs> up, yeah. Another good tip. But the one place where AI really has not figured it out. Oh, my gosh. The hands. Sloan and I found the hands created by artificial intelligence often looking bizarre. Missing fingers, extra fingers, whatever that is. But Gerald says one of the best things you can do to determine if somebody to whom you're talking online actually looks the way they'd like you to think, forget the photos altogether. Set up a video call. If you start hearing excuses, well, my internet is bad, this or that or that, then you can know that, okay, this is most likely fake. A lot of programs we found will let you upload a person's image and then use that image to create AI around it. Mike Hedrick, we played this a bit using faces that hopefully people watching right now will recognize. These all started with a real image, but then the AI around it. Can you tell which is real and which is a fake? This is a game we've been playing all day today on our Instagram account. Mike, why don't you play a little? Okay, I played the game. I did play it online, so here's what I picked. I picked one, which was you. Uh -huh. I picked two, which was me. Is what? As real or fake? It's, it is fake. Okay. Okay. Fake, fake. Coming around here. Fake number five, Kevin Eubank, <laughs> fake. So I got four of them there that How, I believe are What's your level of confidence? Level of confidence? Ninety um, percent on the Dan Spindle one is pretty obvious, okay. right? <laughs> oh, he's got some bling there that I didn't know he he had. Is he's it holding like, <laughs> a key fob? He was here wearing a suit on the beach. That yeah, a lot of these are hard to tell. You're you're pretty good. You're pretty confident. I don't know if you said Kevin. Kevin was I did also Kevin. okay. You said Kevin. Well, you got it then. Hundred percent. There you go. A Thank plus you. for Mike Hedrick. So we've been playing this game. We're on Instagram. Uh, we're gonna I'm gonna go on Instagram right now, and we're gonna talk a little bit about some of the other photos we've been playing with throughout the day uh, that have been uploaded. So you and, and go once again go through those tells. Mike, that are, we had a lot of fun with this, but they can be really important to keep you from getting ripped off. Apparently, you and I were wearing the same suits that day with the, the same, same tie. the same tie. Exactly with, the and same. And you were wearing my size suit. Right. You got a little <laughs> extra bunch here in the back. Yeah. That's great to have. <laughs> yeah. Good story, Matt. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah.